Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I am starting to do the different content shooting. Um, so today I'm going to show you a recipe on how I prepare some of my fur baby's food. Her name is Sugar. And ever since quarantine I was just trying to figure out, you know, how can we um, do something that's more wholesome for her now that we're at home more. Hey, we're going to look at um, how I prepare a couple of weeks worth of her food and what we have on a regular basis is about a cup and a half of sweet potatoes two cups of brown rice and organic quinoa um, and then about a cup of diced carrots is what that is um, some turkey about a half a pound of salmon and a pound of elk now we do put some fresh herbs in there. This is some dried rosemary from our herbs we had this summer. And it's actually really good either fresh or dried for dogs. I also have some steamable peas that are frozen and I'm gonna add that to the mix. I might not put the whole bag because um, dogs really don't need that amount of greenery um, in their food. So I wanted to make sure I also let you know Peas, broccoli, green beans, that, those are some of Sugar's favorites. So that's something else you can also add to the mix with all of the other ingredients. So if you enjoy this content, we're gonna be doing this, uh, posting it every Sunday. Um, so be sure to look for those. The thumbnails will look different too from the actual business episodes. So we'll still do the support local episodes for our entrepreneurs, businesses, and artists. But then on Sundays, we'll do kind of what's called a check-in with Joanna where we're gonna do, um, you know, share recipes, maybe some skits, um, just to talk about what's going on in everyday life and kind of how we cope with that. So this is kind of our, um, remedy to having to buy store-bought food for our dog. Um, we've had previous uh, fur babies that have passed away unfortunately and um, we just want to make sure moving forward that our little fur babies get the best of the best moving forward. So I know some people say gosh it sounds like your dog eats better than you guys do <laughs> and that sometimes might be the case um but we just want to make sure we're giving her every opportunity to live the happiest and healthiest life so i'm gonna go ahead and put all of this in a pan on the stove okay so we do have the salmon and the turkey we made sure there's no bones in the salmon took it off the skin and then um it's about a half a pound and then a pound of turkey so we're gonna go ahead and put this in our pan that has about a tablespoon of olive oil in it Then our pound of elk, that's Colorado local, just from uh, our local food supers. And now this does cost about, these ingredients we're showing here, a little over $20, but this makes two weeks of food for sugar because she's only about 15 pounds. So. Um, if you have a bigger dog, obviously you'll be making a bigger batch at a time. And so I do a little bit of pink, pink Himalayan salt and not very much, just enough to kind of season with a little bit of taste there. Sugar's sitting in between my mom's feet. <laughs> she always knows when we're cooking her food, huh, baby? <laughs> and she loves it. So we're gonna go ahead and continue to brown this meat. And while that's happening, I'm gonna just put the lid and let it cook some. Now, if you can't afford elk and salmon, I've, I've seen some recipes where it's just turkey and so we do the leaner turkey because we're combining with salmon for those omega-3 fatty acids. But I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on this. 
and let it cook some. And then while we're doing that, we're just going to steam the peas. And you just throw it in the microwave. And I think it's three minutes or so for those. And then once we actually have the meat cooking really good, we can throw the carrots in. And this is about a cup of those diced carrots because they'll need a chance to go ahead and cook through. So we'll put all of those in there. And now we don't put as many carrots in our recipe because that's one of Sugar's treats throughout the day. We end up giving her fresh carrots. These are organic and also blueberries and then as I mentioned we also do make her treats from scratch so on a future episode we'll show you how to do those treats as well um, because it's really a really easy recipe for the biscuits I think it's some oats some whole wheat flour egg some peanut butter and some bacon and the dog she really loves it. Huh, baby? Yeah. <laughs> now, my mom's helping me out here. Say hi, mom. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> we like to use a potato masher at this stage, um, and then when we put the sweet potatoes in, just so the meat gets mashed up really fine. So that's also um, another pointer and technique in making our dog's food for the week or two. Um, we usually can make a, a two weeks batch. So we take half of it and keep it in the refrigerator and freeze the other half. Um, we were making the food weekly and that was a lot of work. A lot of work, even though we're at home. So we just wanted to make, you know, a, a faster way to do a two week supply. And so this is what we found works for us. Potato. So here we are, we're mashing the sweet potatoes. So we've added the rice with the quinoa and the sweet potatoes into the meat mixture that we already added the carrots to. So this is looking really good. You see how fine that uh, mixture is. So it's really easy for her to eat. And she is just waiting on a taste tester here. Wow. So we'll see here in a minute. We're gonna add the peas and stir those in. At this point, we can also do our rosemary. So we're gonna add that in. Just a little rub there. Oh gosh, I wish you had smell o vision Actually smells so good. Mm. So the whole deal around preparing our dog's food is, you know, we know what's in there. <laughs> so that's number one. Um, we know exactly how it's being prepared. And we've seen a huge difference in sugar as far as her coat, her eyes are more clear. Um, she is very more energetic uh, and she doesn't get real sleepy and, and draggy for the second half of the day. So we found that this has really been helping her. Sometimes we'll add an egg in there um, you know, so she can have some protein and, and all those good fats from the egg as well. We found that, that she's good with that also. And again, please make sure you check with their veterinarian first before you do uh, develop your recipes for your dog. But okay. we found that this one really works. So stay tuned here and we'll finish up and show you the final product. Oh, so here's the final product with all of the ingredients in there. It all just is cooked in one pot. So we're gonna now give a taste test um, just to make sure that it's up to par for, for sugar. Yes, she is very spoiled. <laughs> but we'll give her a taste test here. <laughs> we're giving sugar a taste test here and we'll just make sure that she's give me your hand. in approval. Give me your oh, hand. good girl. Can we do the paw now trick. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh my goodness. You should come over here. Look at her. I think it's good to go. <laughs> so sugar approves. Excellent. I hope you stay safe. 
um, and definitely uh, stay healthy. And now that we have more time to spend with our pups, uh, our family personally is spending more time in making sure they have, uh, that she has the utmost nutrition and that she's got the healthiest food options that we can provide to her. And you know, hey, we're not we're not going out and doing stuff that we normally do and spending as much money. So the cost, the increased cost is actually worth it to us, we feel. We'll be back with some more recipes for you. If you enjoyed this one, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also ding the bell if you want notifications on whenever we post uh, new videos. And definitely thank you for tuning in and have a great day. We hope to see you again on What's Good with Joanna Michelle.